Hello everyone, I'm Dan Elzer, your co-host for Zap TV. Before we get into the, today's show, I want to talk about how the system works. Just make sure everybody can uh, communicate with us and can ask the questions they might have about Zap. First, uh, understand this is being recorded. I just want everyone to know we're recording this, so if you have someone that missed it or you want to play it later, it will be recorded and up within 48 hours of the end of the show. Just come right back to the same website and there will be the recording of today's show. Secondly, I want to make sure you turn your Zap on. Open your laptops, sign into Zap. There's no better way to become proficient and master skills than doing it as Wayne takes you through each keystroke. And last, uh, Buddy's going to put up a phone number. I need you to get your phone out and get your text app open and put in 321-300-7759. That is the number for you to talk to us in real time here, ask questions. Uh, what we'd love to do is give us a shout out. If you're sitting there somewhere in the United States watching us, uh, let us know. Say hi, tell us who you are and where you're, you're uh, watching from so we can say hi back. But also treat that text as if you were sitting live with us and you wanted to raise your hand. You have a thought, start arguing with yourself about something, fire it off to us, let us deal with it for you, and it will help you better utilize the system. So without any other uh, delay, I want to get my co-host and Zap expert, Wayne Weaver, out here uh, onto the thing. How, how you doing, Dan? Good to see you. Thank you. You too. Um, we've got a pretty cool uh, uh, theme today. Uh, we're going to be talking about using Zap to turn contacts into clients. The actual conversion, you know, this does an amazing job, but we're going to talk about <clears throat> utilizing it to actually make it make money, right? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, I mean, so many, so many times we, we have all these folks with, you know, just calling them contacts, calling them leads, and, and our goal is to make money from them. So. And, and it's some simple things. It's not, this is yeah. not difficult. It's kind of a mindset if we will, of how we can take what's happening here and what we're getting and get proactive instead of reactive to make things happen. Absolutely. Okay, before we get into uh, today's theme though, uh, we've got an update. Uh, got a couple things you want to talk about that has changed uh, since we had our last show. Yeah, uh, Which is pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, just, you know, I mean, just like we've always said, you know, this platform is, is continually changing and all of those changes are made um, to, you know, for us agents and brokers. So, you know, they're, they're made for us. So some of the most recent ones just continue along the lines of, of making it easier for us, making things easier, tasks easier. So one of the most recent ones um, involves tasks on the dashboard. So I just want to quick show you, I'll go live and show you um, just, you know, when we, when we get a task in this dashboard, um, let me make sure I'm live. When we get a task in this at the top, so I'm just logged in and that's what I initially see, we know that that task is either a personal task that I've added or a, you know, a task from, from a client that asked a question about a house or wants to see a house or an appointment coming up. So it, again, it's great at reminding us things. Uh, we have actually, a, 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 where we can actually add appointments now and they show up. Um, that we have an appointment on 314 at one o'clock. So, but what the, the, the key that I like that they updated was how we can get rid of those easier, how we can remove them from that taskbar so that, you know, they're just, so what's up there is either needs to be deal with or one that just came in. And very simple, if I look at this appointment for Michelle James at one o'clock on the 14th, if I scroll over and hit this actions button, I can actually do one of, uh, you know, there's always a menu there. I could actually view it and go, oh man, what was the appointment? Where were we meeting? Um, I could actually, the, the one I like is that I can very simply just mark it complete right there. So, you know, as soon as I mark that complete, it will actually be removed from my dashboard. And that's how, we, you know, that's just one step that we can make that, uh, you know, making it easier for the agents to keep their tasks clean. So, I mean, really, Emeryville, they're paying attention. You know, they're looking at the big things that we're talking about. We had some nice yeah. changes last month. Absolutely. You can come back to us, buddy. And we're also looking at uh, little things. I mean, that's a huge time saver. You don't have to drill yeah. down so deep to do things anymore. Yeah, we used to have to make two or three clicks to say, hey, I did that. Now it's, now it's one. Really simple. Yep. Um, and then there was another change that I think is a positive change. Yeah, so um, we're talking about reviews. Uh, and, and how we encourage you to get reviews from right, Zap. which we've been doing every, every show. A absolutely, absolutely. Continu continuing, it'll rank uh, the agents in certain zip, you know, in, your, in zip codes at the national level. So um, to this point, those rankings, uh, you, know, every, you know, 20 agents in this zip code with, with uh, Better Homes and Garden, um, it was ranking them by, 
uh, average stars. Average stars yeah not by the number of reviews. So you know, we were seeing one agent at the top with one or two reviews, five stars. Meanwhile, an agent that's been working hard to get Zap reviews has um, you know, 10 or 20 or 30 or more, and they were being ranked below because you know, when you get 30 or 40, sometimes you get a you get, four. You get a four you know. somewhere, yeah. So yeah, you're at four, eight, four, nine, but yet they're ranked you know, way below some, some agents. So they actually reversed it, and now the default ranking is the number of reviews. So we can actually see that you know John has uh, 40 reviews and Jack has one, and here are their rankings. And, and the consumer can now see at least start with who's got the most reviews, who many you know how many people have said the most about this person, and then decide who they might want to work with from that point. So I, I like it. I, I like it. Well, I was going to say I think you know, and if you're sitting there thinking, oh, you know, well, shoot, if I have two fives and this person has a four out of 31, you know, uh, reviews. Is that really right? Well, it is. I mean, if you think about it, the, the beauty of this system is driving SEO, is helping you convert, but getting those reviews is really the effort necessary for everything else to work. Correct. So it should be ranked in a way that, now if you have uh, low scores, you're gonna be driven down. Yes. But you know, if you have a whole bunch of reviews because you've done what we've asked, and then you turn around and somebody has won, and you're 4.9 and they're five with one, that, that, that's not what it was set up to do. So Correct. I think it was the right thing to do and it encourages everybody out there to get as many as we can get. Correct. Uh, Gail, I'm gonna try, Claxmas, Oregon? <laughs> oh. I hope I said that right. Claxmas, Claxmas. Clax, clax. Clackamas? Nice. Well, we, we, probably, we probably botched that up. Yeah, thank you, though. <laughs> Shout out to you in Oregon. We're here in Orlando. I hope the weather is nice. I know yeah. our friends, uh, we've already heard from some uh, in the Northeast, are waiting yeah, through some yeah, snow. Yeah, yeah, getting a little snow. So, uh, Real quick, couple other updates. I'm not going to get real deep in them, but the team website, yes. uh, the team platform piece is available. So we can actually get in there, start playing around with that. The team is still looking for um, ideas, suggestions, comments to make that better. Um, so definitely, if you know if you are a part of a team, uh, please get in there and, and, and you know start using that piece of it in Zap. So, and, and one more thing, um, just know we touched on a couple updates. Um, the updates coming uh, that have have happened since our last show, um, you know, there's probably a dozen or more. So don't be afraid to go into the community yes. um, and get a feel for for all of those, or or just check out for you know look on the lookout for some emails that announce those uh, updates. Exactly, so. and and that's a great place to visit. Not only should you turn on Zap every day, sort your scores and get started as we've talked about, but visiting the community over and over again. Not only to give yeah. advice, I mean to give feedback, but to see what's happening is. Uh, we really will keep you on the, the cutting edge of what's happening with the system. Correct. Okay, so our show today, just a reminder again, going back, we are doing converting contacts to clients. So basically what we're trying to say here is instead of this thing running for us, tasking, doing things, automating things, and creating a bunch of opportunity, we want to talk about how we can turn that opportunity into actual clients, actual transactions that make us money. So here's my question for, for Wayne. Um, before we can move forward with the day in the life of a Zap agent, we gotta have some bedrock baselines here. For me to leverage this system and what we're gonna talk about today to its fullest, what are a couple things that have to be in place for me to have those okay. opportunities? Good questions. Um, so I, I would start with uh, adding context. I mean, uh, you know, the platform does its job when we have contacts in there to, to monitor, to put on follow plan, you know, everything we're going to talk about today. But uh, without them in there, you know, I mean, it, it doesn't do its, you know, can't do its job. So adding contacts and that, those contacts, you know, anything from past clients, current clients to friends, family, past coworkers, your entire sphere should be in Zap. Okay, so when we look at that, and uh, we have people. I mean, if, if I mean, we're all at fault to some degree. You can go into my office, and there's some business cards sitting on my, my <laughs> yeah, desk yeah. that of people I've met that I haven't put into the system. And what I've learned in 31 years is my desk does not incubate a client very well. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, and, and we all have to think about that. You know, if we don't get that first step, bedrock step of our clients in there. I mean, of our contacts in there, then, then we're dead. What are some, uh, you got any tips or, or tricks for 
for the person sitting there going, God, how, you know, this is overwhelming. How do I get, how do I start getting contacts in there? I have all these yeah. contacts. I don't have the time to do it. Any yeah. thoughts on I that? mean, you know, I, so I, I, you know, I see agents every single day. That's all I do. Um, you know, and there's always somebody that has a, a high school student or a college student or, you know, an intern in the office. So, you know, I would just say use them. You know, like you know, they, 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 they can type and, and do things and click so quick and we're standing there going, What what'd you just do? So but you know, they're they can also work for very cheap. Yes. So, you know, bring Good them in point. for you. If you have someone, bring them in for the office to use. They can make some cash, but in reality that, that work will you know can get done um, a lot quicker for you. So if I if I go to to my uh, friend in the office son who's uh, going off to college uh, next year. First of all, they understand databases. Yeah. Secondly, they understand uh, digital processes. They type at a thousand mile an hour. Um, shoot, I could offer that person ten bucks an hour, and I bet you they could have a couple hundred leads in there for under fifty bucks. Yeah. So just you, you know, I mean, you can do it, but you know, uh, it's not a huge techie thing. Sometimes it's more time. So if you have you have somebody like that. I'd use them, so. Okay, so without contacts in, folks, we're, we're dead in the water. It really isn't going to help us. What would be a second bedrock thing to make sure we're doing this right? So before we get to the rest of it, because a lot of it's going to involve um, folks finding us and coming to see us, uh, we should have our website up and running in, in you know, completed and functional. So um, we all have a website. It's active. It's, people can find it, um, you know, but if we have not done anything to make it attractive. So I guess what I would normally say is, uh, does your website tell your story? So, you know, if, if you haven't done anything, uh, folks will find your website, look at it and go, eh, and then bolt. We don't want them to bolt. We want them to stay on our personal website because then they're, you know, a better chance of going from a contact to a client. Well, that just reminds me of our last show when we were talking about the SEO playbook again. Yeah, see, yep, along the same lines. Got a simple template to use to make sure you fill that, that website. No different than going, like we talked about, going to Yelp. If we don't fill out Yelp all the way and someone lands on our Yelp page and there's not a picture and there's half data, that basically screams, you're not really into this. Yeah. You're, not, you're not doing things. Yeah. And believe me, that's what our consumers are thinking. Exactly. Like they are thinking, like they don't think, wow, I know he's busy. They're like, eh, no. can't, they're, they're, can't, even, do your web, can't right. even do your website. Then, I mean, think know. the way you respond whenever you're out there on the internet. I mean, it happened to me the other day. I was searching for something and boom, it came up. It, it was SEO. It came up and I clicked on it and it was an image of a, of a picture, but not <laughs> someone's picture. It was a little bit of, of sporadic data and I closed that so fast because yeah. that's not going to give me what I want. So yeah. we got to get contacts in and we got to get uh, our website up, running and completed as far as the profile goes. Correct. And then we'll be ready to work on what we're going to work on uh, uh, after this. Right now, now, I got to say guys, as a skill and technique guy, I hear when I'm out working with, with companies and agents constantly, I wish I had more quality leads. I hear that constantly. And then there's people paying a lot of money for them and there's a lot of stuff going on out there. This system, how much does it cost me again to use this? Zero. No money, oh, yeah, yeah. this system's Zero sitting here dollars. for free. The only thing it requires is that you have discipline and that you schedule yourself to wake up every morning, give it a half hour, give it an hour to do what we talk about and then let it run. You, the, the people that yeah. use this to its max are, are killing it. Cool. And yeah. it just, it, we, we get deals. very passionate because if we could get everyone to use it to its max, uh, your competition's dead in the water. Correct. So with that said, we're talking about a day in the life of a Zap agent converting again to customers from contacts, to clients from contacts. The first thing that you wanted to talk about and look at was listing alerts. Why did you choose listing alerts as something for that conversion? So, you know, I mean, essentially, um, especially if they come in from the outside, whether they're asking or they ask us a question, I don't care if it was this morning or a, you know, a month or a year ago, you know, anybody that's come in from the outside or that we've met that has just asked a question about a house, so um, you're talking about organically coming through yeah. our system because our website's out there. Yep. I mean, we answered the phone and accepted a lead. They asked, said, hey, I want to see, you know, I want I want a listing sheet on 123 Main Street. Anybody that's ever asked about that, even including past clients, like, you know, I mean, they can benefit from a listing alert. So that is a, like, so some people need follow-up plans. Some people need emails. Some people need calls. I mean, anybody that's asked a question about a house. Okay, let's, for the people who might be new, get into Zap. 
What is a listing alert? Give a definition of that. So a listing alert, very simple, is we can actually set up a listing alert in Zap um, you know, from the MLS. So we pull the data from the MLS and keep, keep a, a contact or a client in your database up to date on what's happening in the market. Three bedrooms, two bath, you know, up to this price. Every single time something hits the market, they get an email um, you know, it, and it gets sent out a couple times a day. Um, here's one, two, three main, and here's three, four, five main. They're new on the market today. Okay, so someone comes to me for whatever reason. I like listings, as you know. So I have a past customer that maybe I ran into, and I want to put them on listing alerts because that might make them think, as we talked about when we were leveraging Zap for listings. I want to put them on listing alert because if they start inquiring to me about other listings, they're probably thinking about selling, right? Yes. Okay, so I sign them up on a listing alert. Um, I've, I've um, decided this zip code. Um, what are some things that might happen that will tell me they're active in, uh, in, in utilizing that? Well, I mean, the huge advantage of setting it up, um, I mean, a couple things might happen. And, and you know, typically we see um, they reach out to you and say thank you. So there's okay, a touch, there's a cool. Uh, they reach out to you and go, thank you, but it's not quite right. Can we change it a little bit? Beautiful. I'd love to, you know, change it because, you know, what do you need? Oh, I need two zip codes. I need to, you know, lower the price or I need an extra bedroom. So, you know, that's great. Um, other than that, if it's just set up, we'll just sit back and wait and watch if they open emails and, and look at houses. So, okay, so it's going to affect the score. It's definitely going to talk about later. Score. But they might reach out to us because all of a sudden they're getting something. And they're like, God, I wish I could have this. Yep. Now, at that moment, today is about turning that contact into a client. At the moment they reach out and say, can you add a zip code? Most agents, most of your competition will go yes and add the zip code. But the person that's converting with Zap will go, I'd be happy to do that. You know what? Would it be possible for us to get together? I'm going to make sure I'm getting you everything that you're looking for and turn that into an actual face-to-face -face -face live -to -face, appointment yeah. where we are Go offering live. the services. <laughs> yeah. Go live. Yeah. So if we're in that position, that listing alert can do that. Correct. Uh, a question came in, and I think this is a great one. Um, does the person that I send I sign up for a listing alert, do they need to know it? Do they need to be notified? Oh, um, no. I mean, great question because we can, you know, I'm just trying to think through. No, because the idea is, you know, if I meet you at an open house or anywhere and you're like, oh, yeah, set me up. Beautiful. But, you know, it, you know, it's awesome to use it when that person just asks a question about a house or, you know, recently asks or just sometime because I can just set them up. They can opt out of it. If they get it and go, I don't know why you're sending me this. They can reach out to me and go, you know, I'm not interested. Or they can just push a button and say unsubscribe. But the fact is, is I can take that as an awesome way to, to start a conversation with them, to start engaging them by me just setting it up for them. They can set it up. But me setting it up for them and just them just getting in an email this afternoon with, you know, four properties that they were looking at, you know, that actually, that, that's a good question. That actually triggers back the question we talked, you know, the comment we talked about just a little bit ago with, yeah, that's not quite right. Can I, you know, can I change it? You know, I asked about that house, but really this is what I'm looking for. Absolutely. Hit, uh, hit you with another question now. Um, can they make the change without me? Yes. So not only can they set up a search very easily, um, if I set one up for them, it'll, you know, it'll actually prompt them like, do you want to add a zip code? Do you want to go up in price, down in price? Do you want to add a bedroom? Do you want only a condo? You know, whatever the question, they can actually make those changes, uh, whether I've set it up or they can set it up themselves. Uh, great questions. Okay. Yeah. Now, again, I like I, I'm getting, you know how I get about this, I'm getting <laughs> excited about this because... Okay, if they can do it themselves or they can ask me, these are two touch points that all of a sudden I have somebody doing something that's explaining that you know, I'm looking for help. Yeah. So if they do it themselves, how do I know? So, um, I mean, the Zap score changes, first of all. Like, you will, you will very clearly know that they set up a search. Um, or edited one. Or, or edited one, um, because they'll, you know, maybe they'll open up emails. Maybe they're opening up, I mean, just whatever the situation is, um, you know, opening up emails. If, if they all of a sudden are looking at houses, you have no choice but to go, huh, like, you're looking at houses. If I hadn't set you up on a listing alert, 
you know, are you just on my website? Oh no, look, they saved a search. So it's all, it all kind of jumps out at you when you log in as them and just, you know, when you're analyzing Zapscore, which we'll talk about a little bit more later. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Yep. Okay, so just to start for number one, having listing alerts is a tool. It's a tool that can, one, add value to a customer or a potential customer. Two, it can start to track for me, do they really have a need because they start to search or they change. And it gives me touch point opportunities to make that call, make that touch, where I don't, I mean, we all understand the power or the, the, the challenges with prospecting. We all don't want to push people. We don't, but if someone actually took action, yeah. that you should feel compelled to have to reach out and touch them. Because if they're needing help, if you don't help them, guess what? Well, someone, someone else will. will. <laughs> okay. Sorry, absolutely. So the second one that you, you hit us with was the follow-up plans. Now, this is another thing that we have done multiple times on Zap TV. Yep. Follow-up plans are amazing. But we're talking about converting from a contact to the client. Talk to me about that. Maybe you can show us those follow-up plans. Um, and why is this important for today's theme? Yeah, so you know, it kind of goes back to adding contacts. Like, hey, I'm gonna add all my contacts. Well, okay, that's great. But then I have to break them down and, and know who are you, you know. But, so you're on a listing alert. Well, some folks, uh, you know, perfect example, past clients, um, should be on a, a, you know, can be on an awesome follow-up plan to help you not only stay in touch with them, but to, to keep them as a client, but yet we can use a follow-up plan to uh, turn, help turn a contact into a client. So I'll just, I'll go live and show you um, just very simply, uh, simply where they are um, and, and just get into one of them and just let you know um, how we can change them. Maybe we can create our own. Um, and then it will actually just tell you how you can get more information on follow-up plans as a whole. So, so I'll go live uh, and show you. If I hit the manage button on the left-hand side, you're going to see that um, uh, I can get into follow plans, call script libraries, or email script library. So if I go into the follow up plan library, you will see there are a ton of follow up plans that are created in here. Some by me, some by the brand, some might be by my company. If I am thinking of a, a kind of a closed client follow up plan, I can just simply come down here and I actually find one that says cold buyer follow-up plan or closed seller. So I'll do the closed seller. If I click the plus on the left hand side, I will ex actually expand that follow-up plan and see what the follow-up plan is made up of. I see there's a call, an email, a call, and then three emails. Okay, well that's the, I mean, closed seller, I mean, uh so one is pre the, the transaction, we're all set to close. So that's a phone call, I'm going, yep. hey, we're all set to close, we're having that last touch. Uh, email, last minute checklist, giving them a little checklist, make sure yep. they're ready to go. Then we've got the call to congratulate them, which we should always do. Then now you've got those three email follow-ups, you know, how's life after the move, just checking in, and then at the anniversary. Yep. So now, how much effort do I have to put into once I assign that plan? Um, zero. So it's all but, well. I, I shouldn't say zero. I do there need to make that call. Thank you. So I do need to make that call if if it's part of my plan. Um, if I've chosen a personal email over an automated, I will have to send that email. But you know, it it will kind of go off of your mind, uh, out of your mindset until they show up in, in in Zap and say, "Oh, hey, it's time to call this person." So you know, so it kind of goes off your mindset will come in, you know, come back into your mindset when it's needed to. Okay, I just want you to know, I, I didn't get your name, but uh, someone asked about something specific to the mobile app. We're going to have uh, uh, Zap on the, on the move, so we will nope. get to that. I'll, I will address your question then. But another one came in as you were doing that. Can I and how do I edit a plan? Okay, so yeah, so, um, so I'll, I'll show you actually how to, uh, you know, we can actually create one as well. But if I, if I pull this plan up, and I just, and I initially think, you know, it's pretty good, but I want to change it. I want to make it longer. I want to, you know, I want to change one of the emails to a uh, phone call or back and forth. On the very, I'm going to go live, buddy. So if I pull this up and I want to just adjust it a little bit in whatever way, you'll see a pencil in this far right hand side. So this will always be here with any uh, follow up plan that exists. When I click that, you will see that it automatically created a, uh, a Lisa's copy of that follow-up plan 
And when I scroll down through, you will see all six steps that, that currently are part of that follow-up plan. And I can do anything I want here as far as um, I could add steps to it. I could say, you know what, you know, I don't really like what that message says. I really want to, you know, I'm just going to randomly choose one, but I'm going to, I'm going to choose that message uh, instead. So, you know, so I can constantly just, you know, I can go, you know what, I, I, I don't want to do a phone call that early. You know, I want that one to be automated. So I can actually go through and change this, and then it would be, uh, it would be my follow-up plan from this point on. Now, another call, another question came in while you're in there. Uh, you had emails. Some of those were emails, and the person asked, you know, can you view and edit the email to what you wanted to say in an existing plan? Yes, absolutely. So every single one of these scripts, uh, you'll see these scripts right here. Every single one of them, if I hit this plus sign, um, in, and I look at that, oops, um, oh, for some reason, that will actually expand to what the message is. So really, all of those email scripts, and I'll just come over here real quick. All of those email scripts are actually in this email script library. And the same pencil was, you know, that I saw when I wanted to adjust one of the follow-up plans is if I click on this and I see this email right here and I go, man, that same thing, that's pretty good, but man, I would like to add my tagline. I would like to add a referral line, like, hey, you know, tell your friends about me. Same thing, I can hit this pencil on the right-hand side. And again, same thing as the follow-up plans, you're going to see that I've just created Lisa's copy of that email script. And whatever I change in that email and save it will always be available for me. Awesome. So that's two ways. Um, change those follow-ups or uh, follow-up plans as a whole or change the email scripts that are part of those and then create, you know, you can create your own. Okay. Uh, I think I got everybody. Again, um, <clears throat> you can come back to us. If you have a question, 321-300-7759. Uh, I'm going to get to as many of them as I can, but make sure you throw yours in if you have one. Uh, the, others, the other questions I got right now, are, we're going to address a little later. Okay, cool. So, uh, so those are follow-up plans. So let me just go one more time back to the theme, which is to convert. So I put them on follow-up plans. If they use them, open them. If I'm making the calls, one, I'm being reminded. I can't say I forgot to do my job. Yes. This is going to, I, I, whether I'm on my app or I'm on my desktop, it's going to tell me what I should be doing based on how I put that person in. Correct. It's also going to do things for me without me even having to think or know. And all that's going to change or show me any change in behavior in the person that I'm tracking. Correct. So that goes back to get live, get live, get live. When there's a change in behavior, understand that you know, uh, three, four uh, zaps ago, we had that, that uh, tracking process of the decision process oh, yes. of today's customer. Yeah, scary. <laughs> understand that as those changes happen, if you're waiting, if you're a passive agent waiting, someone's going to pick that person up. This gives you the opportunity to make that touch, make that call. Absolutely. Okay, so that's number two for, for being engaged. Three, which we were kind of pushing towards, was analyze that ZAP score, understanding our clients. So talk about that a little bit. Make it simple for people. How do they, how do, they do it? How do they look at it? What's it tell them? And what do we do next? Yeah, so I mean, very simply, uh, the ZAP score is kind of the, the, you know, the piece that, that tells us we, we've added contacts, done our website, and we have them on follow plans, listing alerts, watched, you know, just whatever touches we can. Um, then we can just sit back and just, the ZAP score analyzes everybody in your database as to what they're doing or not doing. So very simple, I can actually you know, just push one button in my database and say, here's everybody and here's what they're doing or not doing. And who, and the, you know, I always say the thing, you know, Zap slaps me in the face every morning and says, here you go. Um, you better start your day off with these one to 10 people, however many there are that, that, that are worth me reaching out to. So how would you, if you woke up and you're on your desktop, how would you go about doing that? So very simple. Um, so I'll go live and just show you that if I log in, and again, this is my home, you know, just my home dashboard. If I just simply click on, and this is just a, you know, um, a sample account we use, so it's probably not a lot of activity, but if I just simply click on that 140, that, that's just going to list the 140 people in my database. Um, in the default search will be, maybe it will. There, there you go. go. The default search will be uh, by Zapscore. 
So now I can actually just pull, I mean, this is, this is the system slapping me in the face uh, because these people are doing something. So do I, you know, and now I just quickly need to analyze, like, why is John very high? Why is Richard very high? So all I have to do is just hover over one of them you know, as I'm going down through, and I will, and it will tell me why Richard is a very high. And I could just simply say, well, hey, I've been dealing with Richard, so I don't need to reach out to him this morning. But, you know, oh, look at Teresa. You know, she's actually actively looking at houses. So maybe I need to reach out to her. So the fact is, is I could be touching base with some of these people, but I could also, you know, I mean, she's logged into my mobile app one time this week, and she saved a house this week. So if I have not talked to Camille in a while, you better believe I better reach out to her in, in, in touch base with her. So that's a combination of follow plans, listing alerts, watched homes, them having your mobile app, your website up and running. All of that comes right to now and now I actually get to sit back and monitor them. Looking at that too, what I love about it is the last contact. That's the last activity, correct? Yes, yep, that's the, that's the last sort of back and forth. Here's what I want you to think about. When you look at your score and you look over there, 313, 18, and we're now at 321, because right. I haven't been opening my, my Zap scores every morning, that's a week in a day that someone might have already found somebody to do business yeah. with. Yeah, and, and look at Camille. I mean, she's looking at houses as we speak because she's looking at them this week and actually saving them. And the last time we touched base with her was April or uh, February 1st. Bingo. So, you know, almost two months ago, and she's still actively looking at houses. So, okay. So now, simple process for that. I wake up, sort my score, and start to review. Absol correct? Absolutely. And that's, again, from, from, from a contact to a client, if I am there. They want a professional. Guys, you know, if you watch the, the statistics from the National Association of Realtors, they're looking for an expert in the marketplace that can educate them and help them make their dream come true. I mean, you know that they're ready to receive that expert by staying on top of this. Correct. Okay, so bring it back. Uh, here's a question going back a little bit. Um, uh, Gail asked this. To confirm, an automated email is going to go out without me having to push it, but a personal email won't. Correct. So, yep, automated email, if I set those up, um, the, the morning that it's due to go out gets sent out. The personal, um, I mean, basically you're saying you pick the script. So I love the personals because it, it not only brings that person to mind and I go, oh, John, okay, well, I haven't heard from him. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and push send. But maybe I've seen John and I can add one line to that email like, hey, John, it was great seeing the store the other day. You know, hope, you know, glad all is well, and then continue the message. So, um, but you got to realize those, those log a calls, uh, you know, send it, you know, make a call and personal emails actually show up, you know, on our home dashboard as a follow up. So, you know, I don't need to worry about when to send that email. I just need to watch my dashboard. And if a number, you know, one of the, if a follow up has a number after it, it's time for me to either make a call or send an email. And I just simply can keep those cleaned up. So it's not like I have to think about, oh man, I got to send this email. No, off my radar, but the system will tell me when to do that. Okay, so in sorting our ZAP scores and understanding who's taking action, um, moving into the next phase, guys, to be able to make these conversion, make it happen, ZAP on the move, using the mobile app. Now, that's, we, we talked about it last month. Uh, the mobile app's been updated. Yes. So it's a little more user-friendly and it's got a new... Uh, backbone so we can do a lot of really cool stuff with yes, it. Yes, yeah, so it, it's actually do, you know, we can do some great things, redesign makes it easier for us, but it's built to get better for us and be able to do more uh, down the road. And so since it's, it's, it's proven, good. all the stats and everything show, you know, we don't let that thing get three feet away from us. <laughs> so the odds of you being in a mobile situation is, is exponentially different than being on your laptop or your desktop. Sure. So the, the mobile app, if I'm correct, mm -hmm can do about 80% of what the desktop can Yeah, do. yeah, most everything. And the other pieces uh, uh, we know we're working on so that we can you know, fully run our business from the phone. Okay, now I get excited about this because we go through this all the time. And I'm gonna have him, you know, if you're on the run and everything we've just been talking about, how can it apply when I'm on that app? So if you can show that, show the contact capabilities, all that good stuff, sorting yep. the score, then I also have a question that someone asked that I think is gonna be a really good one for everybody out there. Okay, perfect. So I'll go on my uh, live on my phone and show you 
Um, so uh, like Dan had said, the app is updated. So if you don't, so I'll, it's just the light blue one in the lower left hand corner. So if I click that, if your app does not look like this, you have the old version, would strongly suggest you just delete that and then just re-look for Zap Space CRM and you will, you will automatically download the newest version. Um, so just a couple things. So when we were just on our dashboard, we've talked about tasks and notifications and follow-ups and staying in contact with our folks. Well, this app is designed now to just notify us if, if something happens in your database. If John, your contact, goes and asks a question about a house or wants to see a house, we get a notification on our app. And, and it's just like we got a text message, like, hey, you better open this app up. Something's happening in it. So, and we open it up and we have our tasks there with any recent showing requests or requests for info. Um, on the left-hand side, you'll see notifications. On the right-hand side, we'll see follow-ups. So again, anything that we need to do, um, you know, as, as, hey, this is just happening, or these follow-ups can be a part of a, a lead, um, you know, you need to update a lead, or as part of a follow-up plan. So those are the initial pieces that you see that'll help you stay, help stay in contact with everybody in your database, you know, when you need to. Okay, so can I add a contact here? Yes. So I can add a contact. So the question was this. Can you use the mobile app to set up a follow-up plan or a listing alert? So right now we cannot do, uh, well, we can't do the follow-up plan, but that is why we've uh, switched to this app is because that will be a feature coming. And the listing alert can actually be done from the Better Homes and Garden um, consumer app that we all have. We all have a personally branded mobile app where we can send, send it to somebody and they can look for every house in the MLS. So we can, they can, uh, our consumers can actually set up a listing notification uh, right from that mobile app. Okay, so, so we have to use our desktop for us to set it up, but from the, from the consumer mobile app, they can say, hey, they, I want Yep, one. they can just simply do, you know, they, they pull up your mobile app, it, it'll basically say, hey, <laughs> what are you looking for? And then, hey, do you want to save this search? So it's really cool uh, from that uh, consumer-based mobile app. Okay, now what I want you to do is, if they did something, it changes their score. Correct. So can you show us that yep. on here and then how you can click on that individual and what are those options for us to be able to yes. take action quickly? So, so I've, I've done the three you know, follow-ups, notifications, tasks, but now, you know, hey, I didn't have time to look at my ZAP scores this morning. I had to get up and add it early, you know, but now I have some time. So at the very bottom, you'll see the menu. Just to the right of the dashboard, you'll see contacts. And when I click that, again, this defaults that list by zap score. So now I can go down this list and look for a, a, a person like, oh man, Sarah, I haven't talked to her in a while. Like why, you know, what, what am I doing with, with Sarah? Um, and you will see, I can pull her up. I can look at her activity. I can see what houses she looked at, saved, you know, all, her entire history, you know, all of that. So now I'm like, man, I have not talked to Sarah. I need to reach out to her right now. And this is what I love. Yeah, Dan loves this piece because at the very bottom, I don't need to close this out and go, okay, I'm gonna go call or text Sarah. Right from the mobile app, at the very bottom in, that, in the blue, uh, blue line at the bottom, you can see that I can call, email, or text Sarah right from the Zap app so I can go, hey, I gotta call Sarah. I gotta, you know, I have to see what she's up to. I could literally push a button and actually phone, you know, make that call through the Zap app, and it would it would actually keep it in the history that I called Sarah. And, and same thing if I, you know, if I just needed to send her a text message, I can send her a text message. It would actually go through the app. That's amazing. Okay, so bring it back. So let's just wrap what we have here. Um, and if I'm set up properly back to the foundation i've got my website fully filled out i've got my contacts in there i take time one step at a time to slowly assign follow-up plans to everybody whether you're a, a seller that i knew uh, and or even expired someone i had and they, and they withdrew or whatever you could be a potential client for me down the road absolutely so i've got you on some type of follow-up plan i'm sorting my scores and what i love about the the app folks is you know i've been 31 years in the business some days you're ready to make the call. Some days you're just sitting there going, I need to touch somebody. And, oh, but where's the number or where's the file? Or where? No, this is boom, boom, 
and you get it knocked out, it gets logged, and you move on. It's a really amazing thing that you have at the touch of your fingers right there in your hands. And the fact that you can know every time someone makes a change with the push of a button, yeah. you can be the first person yeah. offering the proper service to those people that convert them from out there wandering around to getting live. And that's where I want to end it before we get into. By the way, if you have any other questions, I've got one question, one more question to address. 321-300-7759. Uh, get them in because uh, mailbag is next. But getting live, it is the critical part of making that conversion. Would you agree? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, like uh, we know that all those consu the, the contacts that are out there and ask and maybe, you know, they, they get to a point, like you said, and they go, I'm ready for an agent and, and we have the ability to have contact with them all the way up to that point where they don't need to go I'm ready you know I'm ready for an agent they say hey I'm ready for Wayne I'm ready to talk to Wayne like I'm ready to, to get deeper with Wayne so and voila, you that, that becomes a client so yeah. and that becomes a, that's how a contact becomes a client yep so otherwise it's, they become a client of another agent it's kind of so like we, just, we, uh, we have to when the student is ready the teacher appears yeah, absolutely and <laughs> Well, that person's ready, all of a sudden, you push that button to call and it's done. Yeah. Okay, so uh, one question to deal with. Again, I, nobody else, I think I've gotten everybody, but this was a good question. I wanted to save it to the end. If I have reviews currently on either my Facebook business page or Zillow, can I move them to Zap? Yeah, so no, we, we actually have to ask for the, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I say unfortunately just, but it is what it is. Like, Nobody shares reviews. Like we can't, you know, like we can't share with Zillow. They won't share with us. Facebook, you know, everybody just does them separately. It, it's a huge advantage to actually take the time to to get reviews in Zap, um, mainly because of the process it goes through, and it makes such a difference not only for your website um, ranking you nationally, um, but just in that whole Google, you know, the the SEO uh, search engine optimization. Like it's designed to make the most of that, and that's why we just want to do it through that way so that's so, I mean, that was a great question yeah, you know, I talked about this a um, lot of people feel that I would be nagging you. you you gave me a review on Zillow now I want you to do it on, on zap but I feel like I'm gonna nag you don't look at it that way if someone took the time to give you a review they care not only do they care about you they think you did a great job and they want others to experience your customer service so it to me it's a it's a touch point opportunity uh, if I want Wayne now to come on to zap I can reach out I can thank him for, for the kind words and for, for putting you know, uh, that, that review on my Facebook page or on, on whatever other page. But then I can explain to him how I have my own personal page that I would love for that review to also be there where many of my clients go. And would you be okay with me sending you a link to simply give me one more review? Now if he goes, um, Dan, I'm, I'm good, okay. But what you'll find is most people want to help you. By far they want to help you. So not only does this give you an opportunity for a touch point, but now you start to spread those reviews out because yeah. the customers are going to come at you in many different ways to read about you. Yeah, so great, great question, great opportunity. Yep. So um, it's all about getting live then, right? Yeah. It's about using yeah. and leveraging, getting live so we can go ahead and yeah. turn customers into, or excuse me, contacts into customers. Yeah, and I'll just, you know, and I'll just tell you that, that you know, I mean, I see, I see, I mean, in front of agents and brokers every day, um, you know, it, there's never going to be a tomorrow where you do zap. Like, you know, I'm never going to wake up and go, ah, yeah, you know, tomorrow's my zap. No. So make today your zap day by logging in and adding two contacts or Fine. adding, yeah. you know, doing one bulk upload or asking for just little things. And then tomorrow, log in as well. Start analyzing zap scores. And then when you're 30 days into it, it's going to be, have, you're going to want, like, I, well, I'm literally excited to log into to Zap sometimes to see Zap scores. Like, who's who's doing something? So, you know, that's the piece, and that's why you know that's how you are wake. You know, you're way more connected um, with your contacts, and that's how they become clients. Exactly. Commit. Give it 45 minutes every morning, and in a month you'll have results. We have proof. We've, the people that, that, that leverage the heck out of this are doing amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so what you want to do is save the date. Our next Zap TV will be on April 11th, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So make sure it's Eastern Time for you that will be coming to you with our next Zap 
TV show, and we're going to be talking about how to leverage Zap to get those sales going for the spring market. Yeah, get listings and work with sellers. So there's a lot of tools in Zap that'll that'll help us with that. Uh, sellers, so it guys, should be exciting. Some really cool stuff. Yeah. So I want to thank you for uh, attending the show today, and for my co-host, Mr. Absolutely. Weaver. I'm Dan Elser, and we'll see you next month. Thank you. Thank you.